We're at Inspiration Park. It's what the name of this park was at the time when this maze was built. This is Don Norris. I designed this maze for the Lions Clubs in Fort Collins way back, oh, in the early 70s or mid, maybe late 70s. And uh, they were voting on a, a project that they wanted to build in a handicap section of a park called Inspiration Park and they had six or seven ideas and every one of them was stupid and I just happened to be there as a guest that day and so I raised my hand and I said listen all of those ideas are just dumb don't give this two or three thousand dollars to any of these artists give me two weeks and I'll come up with a, a better idea so I came up uh, with the idea of building a maze that not only can the blind go in, get lost, and um, still feel safe, and then find their way out by um, tags, metal tags on the, on the, on the uh, post, but also wheelchair people and even small children could go in and play, so it'd be an all-purpose uh, piece of equipment for any park in the United States. It wouldn't have to be a handicapped park. But it turned out to be a very nice project fairly easy to build of course that's easy for me to say I just designed it I didn't get into the I, I showed up one day for a little bit of the cement work and putting in a few posts but I had uh, to leave town to go on a uh, road trip for the business uh, that I was in at the time and open up a new store for color tile that was way back then so we started here but I'll show you the plaque for the Lions Club. You won't be able to hardly see it. Nobody's maintained it. I hope you can see that that says Lions Club. And then uh, Mr. Alt, um, they donated some money to get it built. And they put a little plaque there too in, on in, in honor of them. But as you can see, we built it out of cement sidewalks and then uh, wooden posts. And it's tall enough not only for the blind to go into and, and get lost in, but it's tall enough for uh, wheelchair uh, people and uh, small children. So it's an all around purpose uh, maze for everybody in the community, not just one particular part of the segment of society. So it worked out for everybody. Didn't turn out as big as we wanted it. They run out of funds, but um, it, it was kind of a rush thing. They had a deadline to get through, if I remember right. So they only had so much time to build it. And uh, they scaled it down just a little bit. So now we, can, we have better materials too. We could build the sides with plastic just like the uh, playground equipment here at this park. So this is a regular park, but as you can see, there's ramps and things for wheelchair handicapped people so this is the maze and so I'd like to ask you to help me raise money enough that I could travel throughout the United States to build these mazes for Lions Clubs I'd like to have by the end of 2015 have a maze built in all 50 states and then uh, by my 70th birthday in 2016 in April. I'd like to have 70 mazes for my 70th birthday and then Go on to build hundreds of mazes Wouldn't it be wonderful if we had one of these mazes in every park in the United States that would service not only the general population, but the handicapped and the blind It doesn't have to be in a handicapped park it's fun for everybody. When we first built this, though, we had a there was a, a bigger mound over here, so that uh, parents and people could sit up there and look down into the maze and watch uh, their kids or their handicapped uh, family, so that there would be some supervision. And again, the they I don't believe they ever put the markers on that we'd planned for if someone uh, blind was lost they could feel arrows 
and we could even do that for children and things so that we could make them bigger and people could get lost and feel lost for a few minutes and then you know everybody likes to be a little bit scared that's why people go into mazes so anyway there's there's the project please check out the perks i think i made some perks there that might interest you for the amount of money that you donate so please think about helping us build these mazes all over the country and maybe even the world. Thank you.